well good morning guys welcome back to my channel just thought i would pick up the camera and vlog today i'm not sure if i'm gonna vlog today and tomorrow just today I'm not sure but this morning i have just got up taken the dog for a walk and my goodness this time of the year honestly every single i know i've committed i'm the one that bought golden retriever but every single dog walk is a full bath after every dog walk i don't use like shampoo and stuff on his coat but he gets that muddy i mean i could just do a lead walk on the streets but then i feel like he's not had enough exercise so i've got a three ginger tea this morning does anyone else leave the tea bag in and then sometimes i even top it up with hot water <laughs> Is that gross? I don't know. We got two teas out of one tea bag. I'm just getting ready this morning with a bit of light makeup from Clarins, the BB Skin Detox Fluid. Nice big fluffy brush. Um, but oh yeah, how are we all? How is everyone? I've noticed a few comments on my videos lately saying that my videos give like a calming presence and a, a like a source of comfort for people which let me know if that is you because i watch my favorite youtubers and feel the same way but me vlogging i never see my channel in that way i don't know why i think it's because inside i'm always like naturally a person that's very overthinking like constantly going like i've got something coming up i'm getting worried about it i'm getting anxious i'm, I'm just overthinking i've got so much to do like that's what goes on in my mind Feel like the house never clean the dog needs walking this that i've got emails to do and i just feel like the fact that my videos give a calming presence for people and a, that kind of calming source of comfort just makes me happy because i don't feel like that inside <laughs> but if that if if that brings you some form of comfort my videos then yeah that makes me really happy because that's exactly why I like to watch my favourite YouTubers for the same reason. It's just, for me, it's a sense of being able to switch off, unplug, relate as well, feel less alone. You know, like if people are vulnerable on the internet and share their worries, their concerns, their struggles, it makes you feel like, oh, okay, not everyone out there is having the good day every single day. We can all have, not even necessarily bad days, just days you know it doesn't have to always be a good day it doesn't have to always be a bad day a success a failure we can just have just days where we just we survive we get through it <laughs> which sounds dramatic but honestly sometimes that's just c'est la vie that's life i am going to pop to ikea today i think just to have a quick browse there's two that i go to um one of them is sort of a good 35 minutes away 40 minutes and then the other one which is more like 15 20 so i'll probably go to that one today even though it tends to be a bit smaller less stock i'm not really going for anything specific i have a couple of things that i want to get but um otherwise just thought i would take you guys with me to see what's new in have a quick browse we all like a little ikea trip don't we and yeah if i get anything obviously i will show you as well within today's video and we can get it out and what else am i doing today i may be meeting a friend for a nice walk i also may be going out for dinner with friends tonight which again i think that's the other thing that always makes me feel a little bit like Ooh, because at this time of the year i always feel it's kind of like i'm thinking about it constantly before it even gets to it and going out and socialising at this time of the year, I mean, going out and socialising anyway is just not in my comfort zone, but doing it at this time of the year in an evening, and I'm a morning person, not a night out, I always kind of build it up in my head. And then it gets to sort of like 4, 4.30 where it starts getting dark. And then I start feeling tired and I'm thinking, oh my God, I, all I want to do is just be in my pyjamas and either have people over or just get a takeaway or just cook at home. And just be a slob basically i have to I, it takes energy for me to i know some people will think i'm crazy for saying that and they love being able to go out and socialize and do all of that kind of stuff but in winter especially 
it's a real struggle for me to do that. I feel like it takes a lot of my social battery energy. It takes a lot of it up knowing that it's evening. It'd be different if it was, I still will sometimes be like, oh, social, but you know, if it was a brunch or a lunch, then it's kind of like, I'm not waiting around all day. But when it's an evening thing, and I don't even know what the plans are. It's Tom that sort of mentioned it a couple of days ago and I've not really said anything since. So I don't even know what the plans are, so. Watch me get all worked up and then we're not even going out anyway. <laughs> Maybe this is kind of close to what people feel with regards to the SAD thing, the seasonal thing, when it's been so like overcast and miserable and dark evenings. Maybe that's why I get in a bit of a slump of not really wanting to go out and socialize at night time. But I don't know, let me know if anyone else is the same. It would make me feel a lot better if I was not the only one that feels that way. And I have no idea what kind of order this is of my makeup. I don't think I've ever just gone from bronzer to mascara, but it's because I'm chatting to you guys and being distracted. Right, let me just pop on some blush. Oh, I'm getting pins and needles in my feet. Let me lower the camera. How is everybody? What's everyone been getting up to? Has anyone got any February plans? Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to book, book something, get away. We were tempted to do like a kind of Valentine's night away somewhere, but uh, plans not changed because we never actually booked anything, but the timing of it, essentially, my parents have been away. We've kind of had to do a couple of airport runs on the actual 14th, so that kind of scuppered those plans. We could do something at the weekend. I'm not sure. Has Valentine's been and gone now? I feel like I'm filming in advance so that... Well, Valentine's have been and gone. We're on Valentine's Day for you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> have you got any Valentine's Day plans? Except we, because I'm pre-filming this, obviously I'm not filming on Valentine's Day. Like I said, we're just doing, seeing family, doing some airport runs. Midweek as well, isn't it? So, and we've got date nights. I just feel like, isn't Valentine's Day, like the pressure of like having to do a date night on Valentine's Day. It's like, oh God, all the restaurants are all lovey-dovey and is that me being a Valentine's Day Scrooge? Probably. I said to Tom this year, let's not do gifts because it's Valentine's, you know, we've been together It'll be 10 years this year, basically, towards after, like, we don't have a set date, anniversary date, but by the end of the year, it'll have been 10 years. How crazy is that? <gasps> 10 years. I'm just putting a little bit of kind of brown eyeshadow. Wow, that's a really pretty colour. I always feel like whenever I use this colour, I feel like I should use it more. It's from the a Charlotte Tilbury palette. What's this palette called? Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes Are Forever, it's called, and it's this one that I use. Like a nice, ooh, cool toned, I would say, brown. We'll probably top up makeup a bit more later if we do end up going out, so I'm just not going to go overboard today. Tad bit of blush on my cheekies, and we're probably good to go. That will do. Might just pop a few curls in my hair, finish my tea, and then I think we'll get on the road nice and early to get to Ikea before it gets busy because I feel like going shopping, especially getting content for you guys, I always feel like it's better to get there early so that it's a bit quieter. seen a lot of people styling these three set of vases cylinder they're called 12 pounds with little candles in another vase that one's only six pounds i like the shape of that one Cause it hurts whenever I stay 
each time I come in, I see this armchair. It's fairly new, actually. Um, I really like the colours of it. It's like a dark wood colour and that linen. And it's in the sale. So it's now, was 229, now 179. I'm thinking maybe for our bedroom. That could be quite nice. They also do the larger three seat sofa. Again, it has been reduced from 450 to 399. Oh, and then they've even got like a little bench that you could get as well for 150. It's like the further I go, the more I see. They've actually got different colors as well. Obviously the like linen one is probably my favorite, but then they've got the black kind of leather look one and this, I want to say like a teal green. I'm noticing quite a lot of these new lower price labels on lots of different things as well. So mum unit, like just standard drawers, they're like just a classic. These have also been reduced, there's some like different sofas that are in the sale. Again, some more new lower prices over here. This TV bench, the Hemnes one. The Hemnes drawers are the ones that we actually have in our spare bedroom. I also love this little table lamp. It's got like a stone kind of base with the linen shade i don't know if the shade comes separately or not but um i'm after a floor lamp so when i get around to the lighting i'm gonna have a quick look because i'm thinking in our oh it's making it strobe but i'm thinking in our living room the black one we could do with like a floor lamp so i actually have one of these waffle towels in our downstairs low it's like a bit of a hand towel um i quite like how they've layered it with the different colors and also they do these waffle dressing gowns and I love that colour as well. I can't see a price on it or anything though. So I think I'm going to buy one of these. They're a new colour for the like classic Beck Bam stalls that they do and I just feel like this kind of natural colour will look nicely in my walk-in wardrobe room just because if ever I need to get on top of the wardrobe like to dust it or if I put baskets or storage up there then I feel like I need a little step stool in there and like the rustic ones that I've got are only sort of that height, so they won't be tall enough. And then the other one that I've got, I use in the pantry down in the kitchen, so I kind of need it down there. But I feel like that would look quite nice in my little walk-in wardrobe room. I'm loving the colours that they've gone for in this room. So they've got a mixture of textures like this, these different throws, the linen bedding. And I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but it's very like olive tone. Again, they've got one of these waffle dressing gowns and this one has a price. 20 pounds i saw these earlier as well at 10 pounds i feel like on a utility kind of peg setup to have a bag like that with like you can put your dog lead and stuff in there just so that or like spare carrier bags before you go shopping I think I've ever seen these before, but these little bread baskets are five pounds and they're the perfect shape for um, just popping, like I say, in your kitchen with some fresh bread rolls in for if you're hosting. But you could also like roll up some flannels, pop it in a bathroom. Yeah, for five pounds, I thought that kind of seagrass, white company style basket is lovely. So they've got loads of these new storage, uh, kind of like different boxes, containers, and they're all made from this kind of like canvas type material. Good little drawer organizers. These ones are six pounds. And they do other things like these little almost like toiletry bags. Could be a good little pencil case. Four pounds for that zippable one. They also have these and again, I'm not sure if these are new, but I don't think I've ever seen them before. And they are again, storage boxes, but they're made from like a cardboard kind of paper material but i just love the color of them i feel like these in the right kind of setting yes it's just a cardboard box but it could look really nice so they've got like a little kind of um material tab to be able to take the lid off but otherwise just a storage box and it's got like a gingham print on the inside storage box with lid and you get a set of two in there i remember seeing these set last time i came in they must have been brand new when i came last time but 
this range is near enough identical to my containers that I've got from Zara Home. They're the same colour, same sort of material, just a metal, although I don't think Zara Home had one this big. So I know I mentioned about needing a floor lamp. This one's new at £50, but the only thing with that is the wood is quite light on it. And I think had it have been like more of a walnut wood, I probably would have gone for that because um, that's the right sort of size. Our rug downstairs, um, this is the one that we've got, the Stoance rug, and I've just ordered another one for, I got it delivered because I thought, I don't know if it'll fit in the car, 200 by 300, and they've just reduced it. But it's just literally arrived at home and I paid, I'm sure it says previous price 159, but I'm sure I paid 179 for this size. But anyway, it's a gorgeous rug. You can like um, match them up as well, make a really big rug. And look, here we go, the cut edge makes it easy to join several rugs to create a bigger rug without visible seam. And they've also got it in dark blue, medium gray. The off-white is the one that I've got. And honestly, guys, I really, really love it. It's just the right amount of coziness without it being like a super thick pile rug. But yeah love 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 and also their natural kind of woven one is reduced as well unfortunately my stool that i've come to collect it's not here which i'm gutted about never mind oh well it's not meant to be but yeah obviously very popular these rugs are reduced from four pounds down to two pounds and they're a really good rug to be able to do a bit of a diy whereby you get two of them super glue or like hot glue and sew them together stuff them and you've got like one huge cushion in this gorgeous like canvas material so yeah just a little diy hack there for you i am tempted to maybe get one for next to the sink will that annoy me or will i like that let's just try it i mean for the sake of two pounds even if we end up just putting it down in the utility yeah we'll get that another little bargain from one pound down to just 40p I tend to, I've already got some, so I'm not going to pick up some today, but these little sponges are great for cleaning. If you got that one up, Tom was on a work school. I've just had my lunch. Peanut butter and banana on fresh sourdough. Delish. I'm that girl now. Little Amazon purchase. Um, I've just made myself a peppermint tea. I haven't just got back. Oh, that's too hot. I'm trying to drink it and I just know it's too hot. But I've also got myself. Still on the MS hype of these outrageously chocolatey covered biscuits custard cream ones are my favorite and i have to i said i'll give you a bit of a review excuse the mess that's what i'm just doing at the minute just tidying up before i share with you the ikea bits but this book i have this much left i want to say a third and it's so good all the way like i've just got to a bit that i'm like oh so uh, yeah, those of you that asked for a little review on this book, I'll leave it linked below. I've also bought the second one so that I am prepped and ready to read that one once this one's finished, but the best book I've read in a long time. It's giving variety vibes, which if you like that, then you'll like this one. But I would say this one's, oh, I don't know the ending yet. But so far I would say this one, is it better? Probably. I've read it a lot quicker, that's for sure. Where are you going to get eggs? What's you pass the bin? And what's the cameras on? Make yourself look like the dutiful partner you are. Thank you. <sighs> Tom's just decanted some honey that he bought back from India in this because the bottle that it was in was uh, it was a nightmare to get it out. I think we'll have them both. <laughs> I bet you're going to struggle to wash that. You know, if it becomes a dog walking coat and gets mucky. 
It is a dog walking kit though. You've worn it several times on a dog walking kit. On a dog walk. That's the problem you see when you've got a dog. I've washed my coat, my like black puffer type coat from crab hoppers that I got um, a while back. It's like just turned into my dog walking coat. But because it is black, every single paw print, like I was saying this morning how dirty my leggings got. In fact, I'll show you actually what I've changed into instead. And it is, um, kept this jumper on because the jumper was fine. Zip up top is Abercrombie, love their, you know, I think it's men's, but I love their quarter zips. And then underneath I've got from Shein, their glow mode range. It's like a all in one, um, I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's like a boning structure to it. It's essentially like an all in one unitard and then just some Adenola socks. But yeah, are you tired baby? Are you a tired baby? Look at that poor tuck. Look at that poor tuck. Are they not just the sleepiest eyes you've ever seen? Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Oh, I'll show you this rug whilst we've on the topic of Ikea. So this is the Stoance rug that I told you I got a second one of to pop in this room. That is now in the newly lowered priced section it does get pretty i mean you can't tell now but it gets pretty good hoover lines on it as well but it's just cozy again like i said to you earlier it's not too thick it doesn't take up too you know like the pile isn't that high but yeah it's cozy i'll just get a bit lower so you can see it's not a super thick one it's just nice and simple nice and square keeps its shape which the jute ones don't do i absolutely blooming love it i think i'm just gonna keep doing a bit of tidying up my dress say that tom's about to just cook eggs so i'll need to do more i'll unload the dishwashers get them done really want to finish this book tonight so if we do end up going out probably won't but if not that's gonna be on my agenda for this evening because i just I really want to like find out what happens. I've never, well I have had books do that to me before but only ever really when I'm on holiday and I can dedicate time to read. But that one I'm like thinking I could sit down now for an hour and read that but I've just got too much to do. And I also feel a bit guilty. This is like a never ending battle being self-employed, weighing up guilt for having downtime when it's the stereotypical nine to five work time. Even though obviously I work at the weekends, I work evenings, I sometimes I have to get up really early and work and I feel like it's never ending. But if on a Tuesday midday I feel quiet and I read my book for three hours, I'll feel like lazy almost. Or I feel like I should be doing something. So yeah, get, finding that battle can be quite a challenge when, you, um, when you're self-employed. Any other self-employed people out there. I'm sure you'll be able to relate to that. Anyway, get dishwashers unloaded and then I'll show you these Ikea bits. And finish my yummy biscuit. Did we like the ASMR that I did earlier when Tom was on the phone? I don't quite get ASMR, but let me know if you do. <laughs> So I do actually have one item to build. So we'll do that in a sec. It's a chair that I got for our master bedroom. Uh, I'm just shutting the door because Tom's just watching something. Um, and yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna look really nice. Let me go get the other bit. I don't know any YouTuber that doesn't do, I'm talking professional full-time YouTubers that this is our job, that don't do some kind of makeshift tripod. <laughs> We've got a candle and a coaster propping you up there. I don't know why. I do have a tripod, but it's just not here. So it's inconvenient. You also come home to a little PR package. Rightio then. So little mini haul. We've got let's start with their little PR package. So Pixie always are so generous with sending a PR and they're always so creative as well, which is a uh, like a, something I especially like is what I'm trying to say there um but yeah so they have sent over a couple of new products I've had a sneak peek in here already but I thought I would keep it boxed up to show you guys so in here we have flawless beauty primer a makeup fixing mist I've tried that before and liked it 
And then this as well, which I'm really excited to try. It's a H2O Skin Veil in Translucent. So it is a powder. And look at this as well. Really creative, what I was saying. They've included a little wax stamp and seal that is personalised. So it's got an F on there, which I just think that is such a lovely touch seal the glow unleash your inner radiance with these and they're chanting treats i want to try and feel what this flawless ooh, how nice is that color see what this is like so it says hydrating radiance primer oh radiance add a, adds a radiant glow looking glow christ i can't speak I'm assuming this will have maybe a bit of yeah a bit of shimmer to it oh do you know what that reminds me of yeah it's like a combination between I wonder if they do do different shades. Maybe not. Um, combination between my SPF, bit of radiance there, quite dull there. Can you see the difference? Really nice. It feels nice and lightweight as well. Doesn't, does it have a scent? It doesn't really have a scent. If anything, it's more... I would say like an unfragrant scent. You know, you can smell a product, but it's not like they've put vanilla in there or something. At least I can't smell that. So anyway, yes, thank you for sending that over. I'm also intrigued by their translucent powder because I really do get through that Laura Mercier one, which is a bit bigger than this. Next on my agenda for using a new powder, I'm gonna go in with this one. Thanks to Pixie for sending that over. Okay, so Ikea bits that I got, some of them I kind of vlogged, so you'll recognize them. Like for instance, this little two pack storage box, which I did decide to pick up, because I just thought actually, even if it's something that we keep bits and bobs in, in the storage room, but to have nice boxes for, ideal or something like in my wardrobe if I need something within a box just to help protect it then I've got a pack of two here for that also got another one of my v-shaped pillows these have gone up in price they're 15 pounds and they're okay but I have to replace them I mean I suppose you're, me you're meant to replace your pillows anyway every few months but yeah every few months I would say I have to get a new one of these and if you've never sh slept sh sh slept with a pregnancy pillow before not being pregnant, just do it. I feel like if I was to get pregnant, I would probably invest in like a decent pregnancy pillow. These are 15 pounds, but they used to be seven. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, they, like I say, because they misshape, they're not that big, they don't take up that much space. And I do have questions actually. People have asked, where on earth do you put these? Because they don't look nice on the bed. You could stack them, and I have in the past stacked them sort of behind the main display cushions and then our pillows and then like a smaller display cushion. But we just slide it under the bed, like next to where my head is. So I just pull it out every night and cuddle up. <laughs> I also picked up a couple of these, which also have the new lower prices. These scub, I think they're called, scoob, scub, um, and these are just white storage boxes. I also did pick up one of these rugs like I showed you in the bargain corner, the clearance section. They used to call it the bargain corner. It's now they reuse and reshop or something. I also got this cute little plant, faux plant, and it is, I just like the color of it. You know, sometimes you can get faux plants that are very greeny. I quite liked the muted kind of green to this, it, I felt like it looked a bit more realistic. And I like the one-sided asymmetric droop. So yeah, I have a little plant pot that I have in mind for this. And I'm thinking I definitely want to add more greenery to the shelf space whenever I look at, or some kind of plants or flowers or whatever it is, whenever I look at sort of on Pinterest styling images of styling shelves, which is something I, is like constantly in my mind of something I want to do is restyle the shelves to, um, yeah, to add more things like that because every image that I save on Pinterest seems to have some kind of greenery, greenery or foliage. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I did also pick up another one of these seagrass bread baskets. I just think they're so handy. And like I said, you can use them wherever. It doesn't have to be as a bread basket. I got a couple more of the uh, wicker baskets, the Kubu wicker baskets that I love. And then I also got these for storage as well. So I got two, hang on, hang on. let me just get them out. Two of each size, so we've got the larger ones at a pound, and they're just a really nice neutral coloured beige plastic 
sort of organizer drawer organizer so i've got a couple of big ones that i'm thinking for my bathroom uh i'm again just need to have a bit of a clear out of my vanity unit drawers so i've got a couple of those and um, they're a pound each then the medium sized ones were 75p each and the small ones were 50p each so i just got two of each i also got bottle opener because we needed one these were two pounds was it four pounds the little pencil case that i showed you i did decide to get one of these if i can open it it's just a zippable i'm thinking as a little pencil case because i've constantly whenever i need a pen i'm like oh, where is one if i actually have a dedicated area where i keep some pens and pencils probably down in the storage room and i've got a stationary tub so i'll pop them in there uh, but the minute that everything's just loose in there so yeah thought that would come in handy then from that same range i got the set of drawer organizers as well so you get the large one and then you also get the smaller ones once they've got stuff in they'll hold their, sh their shape a bit better but i'm thinking within my wardrobe of just having some of these kind of organizers for little bits and bobs then i also saw this again with the cardboard circular thing later on i saw that they had square shapes so i picked one up as well um but it's essentially the same thing it's a cardboard but looks quite nice so therefore cheap but actually looks really aesthetic and inside it's just got some like organizers so again for little bits like jewelry bits or whatever you want to put in here really just a good i'm a sucker for a good little new storage box so yeah, unusual that they've gone for that kind of like gingham print on the inside and then the kind of minimal aesthetic on the outside, but love it, love it, love it, love it. I think it's similar sort of price. They were sort of between five to 10 pounds. And then I also did just pick up this woven jute um, mat to just go either. I'm gonna test it by the front door. If the front door opens with this, then I'll keep it on the inside of the front door. If not, that little back door there gets traffic outside as well so i could pop it there if not again utility by the back door and the utility because we did have a doormat but it's i don't even know i think i've moved it now it said like hello pumpkin or something down there which obviously is no longer relevant yeah that is everything we got so i feel like i just need to pop these bits away and get going with building the chair because i want to get that up today for you to show you it in situ let's do a bit of yeah, this is my kind of version of a DIY job, basically flat pack furniture. <laughs> Hopefully it shouldn't be too, too difficult. I know it's got a kink in the middle at the minute, but ignoring that, there is no chance this front door is going to open on this mat. So we need something either like built in, you know, when they can cut out your floor and do a little, which we won't be able to do actually because we've got the underfloor heat in there. Could have thought about that maybe, but something super, super thin maybe. It would have to be a lot, lot thinner than this though, so... Back to square one and this will probably go by one of the other doors. We are all done. Also, this came in really handy, which I had from a previous IKEA trip. It's basically a little toolbox that has everything you need. So you've obviously got um, like some pliers, hammer, and then it comes with all of these different screwdriver heads, which obviously are all the different shapes that you'll probably ever need. And yeah, you just take it off, add it back to the collection, and then yeah good to go so i think um i paid about nine pound for this but i did see that they had a load of these in the bargain clearance section as well so um i would have picked one up if i didn't have this already but um yeah i've used this so much it's just come in so handy so i thought i would mention that as well and then as for the chair itself this is what it looks like it's really dark actually i was thinking it was going to be more well, it is a walnut wood, but it's very dark. Like, you could get away with um, almost saying that it's black. It's definitely, like, a warm 
wood like a really dark walnut wood and then obviously like a linen-y type fabric so yeah i love it they had it start up with like a little throw in a cushion which i think i will do too but yeah what do we think? So this is the space that I had in mind in our kind of master bedroom. If I just stand back so you can see what our master bedroom looks like, if you've not seen it before. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking an arched mirror here, which is where a wardrobe used to be before having had my fitted wardrobes done. So an arch mirror there and then the chair sat in front of it and I'm gonna pop this down in the basement, but I actually do quite like it. Like I said to you earlier, with the intention of having it as a bit of a chair so that I can, whoa, are we zoomed in? Yeah, a little bit. Having it as a chair, what is going on with my hair? It's just cause I clipped it up. Um, to be able to sit on to film. It's quite a big cushion, but. You get the idea. It's actually quite a close colour match, that one. This one is a Primark cushion. I just really love the pattern of it. Just adds a little texture, a little something different. Or you could just have it on the plain reverse. I'm really happy with it. I feel like I need a smaller cushion on here, to be fair. But for now, that can stay there. My new little chair. And comfortability test. Well, let's try with the cushion. Yeah, it's actually quite comfy. It's quite firm, but I could easily just get my book, read through a couple of pages, which I did actually just do. After filming that clip saying that, trying to find the balance, I thought, you know what, no, I am gonna treat myself to, I think I spent about 15 minutes reading. I've had a bit of a break before building this, but. <sighs> and then. I definitely think this is better suited in here, for now anyway. Might just try and keep my eyes peeled for like a home sense purchase for the one in my um, main bedroom. But I mean, you could just carry it to and from. You know, like to have this room clear when I'm not needing it and then just keep it in the bedroom when I don't need it in here. So I am actually gonna go meet a friend for a little walk and, um, pretty miserable I'm not gonna lie this weather honestly need some vitamin d well actually I do take vitamin d <laughs> but um I just need the sunshine on my face spring is on its way I can see the snowdrops in the garden it's trying to push through it'll be here before we know it and then I'll be complaining about the heat <laughs> I wanted to just finish off today's, let me just open that for a bit of natural light. Wanted to just come on and finish today's vlog. Thank you for spending the day with me. I had a quick look back at the footage and it ended up being um, long enough for the full vlog because I, I did think about vlogging tomorrow as well. But I don't know, do you prefer like more bite-sized vlogs, maybe like 20, 30 minutes that you can sit and do your makeup with in the mornings? Or do you prefer like a long, chunky, hour long vlog but not even just from me just in general because i was always the one that was like give me the full hour but recently i've been having that many like people upload vlogs that long that i'm thinking oh right now i haven't got time to watch one of those so i end up scrolling down to finding someone else's vlog that's like 20 30 minutes so let me know which which do you actually tend to be drawn to um, just so that I'm fully aware that we can mix things up on this channel and have some long ones, some short ones, but mine are never going to be like 10 minutes, are they? Let's be real. But anyway, I am going to close off today's video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me, coming shopping with me, and yeah, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribing if you haven't already, and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.